Good day! In this video, we are going to do question 2B of the 2022 NCA Level 1 Chant and Data Paper. Without further ado, let's read the question. The graph below displays the relationship between of the average temperatures in degrees centigrade between Wellington and Auckland. You can see well, Auckland at the bottom and Wellington at the top, and this is a scatter graph. Each dot represents the average temperature for one year. So in this case, we have 1966 to 2019. They are all together 54 years. Okay. So the question is, the highest average temperature for Wellington was recorded in 2019. State the average temperature for Auckland in 2019. Okay. The average temperature in Wellington was recorded. So the highest at this point here. Okay. So it was recorded this point so you want to find what the temperature in Auckland so you bring it down it's going to be 16.1 if you can answer that the answer will give you an achieve in this paper okay so let's go at question 1b 2b sorry okay 2b 2b sounds like this okay so the graph shows the average temperature for 54 years as I said before between 1966 to 2019 if two years are randomly chosen between 1966 in 2019, what is the probability that the Auckland average temperature in both years are above 16 degrees centigrade? First, we need to calculate what is the probability of finding the Auckland average temperature above 16. So in this case, above 16 is here. So you count there are 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. So the chances of Auckland above 16 is 9 out of 54. But if the question asks you for two contact two years uh, when it's above 16 degrees, so if the first year is 9 over 54, the second year will be one number less, so it will be 8 over 53. So you multiply the two number 9 over 54 times 8 over 53, and the answer is 4 over 159, and the answer is 0 0.252. You can get the merit for that question. Okay, great. Question part 3 and part 4 are word problem, so listen carefully, okay? So... Describe and interpret at least two different features visible in this graph, okay, shown on the video here. So, we need to talk about the, when you do a scatter graph, you need to talk about the relationship. There are three types of analysis you must make. First, you must tell them whether it's positive or negative. If the graph is going upwards like this, it means that it is a positive relationship, okay. So, as X, or the Auckland temperature increases, the Wellington temperature also increases. So that is your first point. The second point, you need to talk about whether it is a linear or non-linear. Does it look like a straight line or it look like a curve? In my case, I would suggest that it looks more like a straight line. So I would say that this is a linear relationship. And last but not least, we need to talk whether it is strong, moderate or weak. If every point lies on a straight line, it is strong, it's a bit scattered like our case is a moderate relationship and if it's all over the place and you do not know where to draw the line on best fit then it's a weak relationship. In our case, you can see that they are all in the same direction so we in a bit of scatter and I will say that this is a moderate relationship. So that is how you find the relationship between the Auckland temperature and the Wellington temperature. Okay, last but not least, we are going to find out part Four, part four sounds like this, okay? How useful is this graph to predict the weather in Wellington and Auckland? Justify your answer using statistical reason giving two supporting statements. So when they say at least two, you must give me at least two. I would suggest we give three so that if one of them is not acceptable, then you can have as a backup. Okay, so the, qu the, qu the answer is as follows. So the relationship is moderate, so I can make the prediction can be pretty accurate, okay? So if it was weak, then I will have some concern about predicting the future. Next thing, it is the data has been collected over 54 years, so 1966 to 2019. So of course, this data is useful because this data can be used to predict the future. And last but not least, the graph indicate that Wellington temperature, you can see that Wellington temperature is always lower than the Auckland temperature. Auckland temperature tend to be 2 degrees or 3 degrees higher than Wellington temperature. Of course, this will be useful in your analysis of temperatures in Auckland and Wellington. So that is how I tackle this question. If you can answer all of them from part 1 to part 4, you will get an excellence. So this is a paper you should, in statistics, in chance and data, you need to be able to justify and claim why you think the reason for that graph. So have a good day everyone 
and I'll see you soon. If you have any question, leave a comment below and cheers.